Hello everyone. I am pleased to be here to introduce my work. The topic of my presentation is a role-based control approach to coordinated path following with connectivity preservation. The presentation has two parts, background and study. We all count that multi-agent system has potential values in various areas and plays an important role in many cooperative applications, such as logistics, transportation and military. In this paper, we focus on a problem called coordinated path following with connectivity preservation, in which a crowd of robots are assigned to take off from a ground control station and track a desired motion path coordinately while keeping connectivity until reach the destination. It brings some significant challenges to address the problem. Firstly, a basic flock need to be realized when the mission starts. Then the flock should follow the desired path while avoiding collisions. And lastly, connectivity preservation must be guaranteed to satisfy the demands of coordination and cooperation, including connectivity of the swarm and contact between swarm and GCS. We formulated the problem and regard robots as agent with second order integrator model. All agents have the same sensor range and can receive the state of other agents within it. And for example, we say J is a neighbor of I, but K isn't. Then the initial state is just like the figure above. All agents are near to GCS and get ready to take off. A desired final state may be as the figure below shown. Some agents reach the destination and some are left on the way to keep contact with the GCS. To realize the coordinated behavior, we propose a role-based approach and design three basic roles, Mission Agent, MA, Relay Agent, RA, Candidate Relay Agent, CA. MA and RA are easily understood. CA is a transition role between MA and RA. CA moves with mission agents and monitors the communication link with relays. Based on the role approach, the procedure of the swarm behavior may be like this. Initially, one of agents is selected to be the CA, maybe Agent 1, and he supervises the link with GCS. When Agent 1 is going to move out the sensor range of GCS, he switches to a relay. At the same time, maybe Agent 2 transform his role from a MA to a CA and supervises Agent 1. And then, Agent 2 will be a RA when he gonna move out of the range of Agent 1, another agent will be the new CA, and so forth. As mentioned, roles can transform from one to another when some conditions is satisfied. A CA becomes a RA when the CA detect the danger of connection break. That is the distance of the CA and the supervised agent beyond the A threshold, which is less than sensor range. And the MA will switch to a CA when he receives an active message from CA and is not a LAP. LAP here is short for local articulation point, where a remove of a LAP will lead a disconnection of network at the predictable future. Supposed agent I is CA and gonna be a RA. Agent J is a LAP because that if J is deleted, subgraph M and subgraph K, P, N, is disconnected. While Agent K is not a LAP, it is easy to obtain that the connectivity will break in all three states, if Agent J is selected to the CA after Agent I. In all, the new CA must be a non-LAP agent. In our proposed role-based approach, Different controllers are devised for different roles. As for MA and CA, the control input is a combination of four forces, for connectivity, collision avoidance, path following and velocity tracking respectively. Forces for connectivity and collision avoidance are computed by artificial potential fields. The former generates a large attractive force if two agents are moving away from each other while the latter make a repulsion if they are too close. The path following force is computed by a constructed vector field and it can drive the agent move along an arbitrary twice differentiable curve.
Lastly, the velocity tracking force is proportion to the difference between current velocity and desired velocity. This makes smooth and steady motion of agents. For relay agent, we also propose a controller based on vector field method, and make an agent move clockwise when he is above the path, while moving counterclockwise if below. Obviously, he would stay on the path eventually. We conduct a nine agents experiment in a robot simulator, stage. And the setup is as the picture displayed. Moreover, some metrics are measured. The Fiedler hygiene value of the overall network is displayed. And notice the fact that our approach succeeds in maintaining a connected network in coordinated path following as lambda 2 is larger than 0 for all time. The minimum distance shows that our technique is also valid in avoiding collisions. Thank you for listening.